1049 here at WILK, continuing the conversation with some high school basketball. Mark Atherton, the head coach for Crestwood, joining us right now on the boys' side. Uh, a good morning for you, I'm sure it is. Right, Mark? Good morning, Co- uh, Good morning, John. How are you? Good. Well, uh, you guys got a big victory last night, and uh, always good to get that first state-round win. Uh, let's go back a, a week to the, the game against Abington Heights, what that was like, what you guys talked about after, and then heading into last night's state championship or uh, state playoff game, the opening round. Um, well, we know Abington Heights, you know, obviously is a great team, defending state champions. Uh, it was uphill battle from the beginning. Um, you know, we fought hard. We had a game plan coming in. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well, and we thought we would have to, and we knew we'd have to make some free throws in order to be successful in that game. And uh, we, in the end, we lost by seven points. I thought our kids did a pretty good job defensively, showed a lot of heart, but uh, came up a little short. So we tried to take the positives out of that game. And there were some positives, and um, we took them through the week of practice. And I thought we had a pretty good week of of practice and preparation. And we knew this team, we we anticipated a really tough game. Um, You know, they played Imhotep Charter, lost by five, and some other ones in in a tough inner city. uh, You know, they they play a really tough schedule. So we were really their 13-13 and record. We we really didn't care about. We were just just really concerned with with, – how athletic and how tough physically they're really tough as far as beating off cutters and beating off cuts and doing stuff like that so you know we, we had a great week of preparation and, and it showed in the game yesterday now uh, the next step is uh, get some practice in and get ready for the next round on tuesday uh, let's talk about the where you guys are at mentally and, and getting ready for that next stop and uh, hopefully uh, another victory yeah i mean the, the good news is i mean Pottsville, anybody in the final you're now down to the Sweet 16. You know everybody's tough. Um, Pottsville, you know, they, when you look at some common opponents, they beat uh, Abington Heights, I think it was by nine points. Um, Williamsport by five. Uh, so, and then they lost to Prep. I think it was by nine. Now, we didn't play Prep, but we had Abington and Williamsport. Um, so, it's not a game where you're running into, a, you know, four players going to Division One. And, and that kind of caliber, but they are very tough, obviously, beating Abington Heights. And, and it's a tough opponent. It will take a full, full effort by Crestwood in order to get this job done, but it certainly can be done. As far as, uh, you know, the stuff you hear coaches talking about, hey, they're up late at night, they're watching film. Talk about uh, where you're at at this point in the state playoffs, what you're able to do with trying to, you know, with huddle and different things as far as getting guys out to maybe scout other opponents as well. Yeah, I mean, things have changed. I mean, obviously, I remember times we'd be bubble wrapping uh, tapes and sending them to coaches and meeting people in parking lots to exchange film and sending your guys out, you know, a game or two games ahead to try to get film. And now through Huddle, it has changed everything. And, you know, you can watch pretty much as much film as you like. Uh, you know, I, I was just in the morning watching a little film on Pottsville. But you also have to be careful not to forget about your team and, and continue getting better at what you do well. And, uh, you know, we, we want to see what the opponent's going to do. We try to show them some tendencies, some things. But at this point, we play so many different types of styles that we just look at the style, what they do, and try to work for two days without wearing down your guys. Because your guys are beat up at this point. So rest is also very important. Well, let's guess this game will be at Hazleton. Maybe not, but uh, Pottsville and Crestwood are going at it on Tuesday. Coach, we wish you the best. Thanks for your time today. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate it. All right. right. Mark Atherton, the head coach there at Crestwood. We come back. We'll talk some girls basketball. Let's head on out to our local State Farm Insurance agent, Frank Sorokatch. Break. Like a good neighbor, Frank Sorokatch is there. We'll be back on WILK.